Right, one of the best singer-songwriters we've ever had in this country just released a very first Christmas CD. Here's the beautiful Carly Simon. <laughs> Look at Carly. Look at Carly. So Christmassy. Hi. So great to meet you. Oh, thank you. Look at Carly. I always have an Audi. <laughs> really? Have you always had an Audi? Even when I'm not pregnant, it's still an Audi. Yeah. Isn't that funny? It's so interesting because there's only about 2% of the people with Audis. I know percentages of things. Yes. <laughs> really? Do you have an Audi or an Innie? I'm an Innie. You're an Innie. I've got an in-betweenie. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I've never met another Audi. You Really? Well, now it's going to be more Audi than before. Oh, well, now it's a thumb. It's a foot. <laughs> it's scary. <laughs> And your first Christmas CD, huh? It's my first Christmas. I've always wanted to make one. And last, I can't last believe Christmas, you everybody said to me, well, where is, where is your, uh, you know, I want to hear you sing those songs. Yeah. Why have we never heard you sing those songs? And so, so I, I decided, I just kind of put the word out. I put the feeling out there. And I sure. talked to various mm. friends. I wanted to make it with Jimmy Webb, and that didn't work out. I went out to L.A. with my son, who was doing a concert for the Olympic ski team. Mm. And I didn't want to go back to New York by myself, because I don't like to fly. Uh -huh. And so I was looking for an excuse to stay out there, and I ran into Don Was, who's the producer. And I said, feel like making an album? He said, yeah, sure. He said, what kind? I said, the Christmas album? And he said, yeah, sure. <laughs> and so within five days, we were in the hotel room. We couldn't get a studio in that short span. You did it in a hotel room? In my hotel room, room 139 at the Peninsula in Los Angeles. How great. I now know. we know where yes, you stay. absolutely, yeah. I was just in 134. You were? Yes. We should go steal things well, from there. But where, what did you do it, Carly? In the bathroom? Like, does that give you the best sound? I've always wanted to do an album in a bathroom because of the natural acoustics oh, of, of the tile. Oh, they're great. I mean, so you don't need, it's just natural reverb. And so it, um, it wasn't a suite in the hotel. It was just, it was a regular room. We moved out the bed. Jim Keltner, one of the great drummers in the world, came and set up drums in the corner of the room. You know, for a minute there, I thought that well, you were going to pre-record the band, and then you were going to dub your voice over the band, but you did the whole Nothing thing Nothing of the sort. Oh, my gosh. How Can you was... imagine those phone calls to the concierge? Yeah. I think Carly Simon is performing a concert next door. <laughs> <laughs> well, they were so nice to us, the people at the Peninsula. They, they, we had our own menu. Mm -hmm. for our, you know, the musicians so they couldn't order coq au vin at like $150 a yeah. shot every, right. you know. Well, how nice. Uh, you did the whole, the whole album there? In four days. In no four days? Yeah, wow. with, with like two microphones. You're kidding. And the, the, the wonderful engineer who set up the microphones, Bob Claremountain, and his wife came over and they decorated the hotel room with like little elves boots. Just to get you in the and, mood, huh? Yeah, and yeah. lights all over the place. This, n now, this is the end of January of, of uh, this year. Yeah. And um, just, cr you know, candy canes all over the place, lights, little Santas, Santa suits for the musicians. Willie Nelson came in with his whole troupe of, you know, because he travels with an entourage. Right. He, he happened to be in town, and, and he agreed to do a duet with me on one of his songs called Pretty, Pretty Paper. And he came in, and you can hear the whole entourage talking in the background. That is so cool. Well, so it's like, it's the way records should be made, yeah, for gosh sakes. You feel sakes. good it's about it, right? As you I would do it, rather than going into it. the sterile studio and all of that. And it's a live album. Oh, that's great. That's great. great. Well, listen, it's... And nobody wears Santa boots like you do, Carly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to swing a picture back here. These boots are the boots that Jack Holzman, who was the president of Electra Records when I signed in 1970, gave to me in 1970. They're you the, are They're kidding. the same boots. Wow, I, 30 years I, old. They look great. I, I wish I was wearing them today, but they are, they are my favorite boots. When we come back, will you sing a song for us? No. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> After all that, no. <laughs> anyway, the Christmas CD's got some lovely, lovely songs here. The Silent Night, of course, and, and I'll Be Home for Christmas, which, I, as I recall, is a, a great song. Mm. Uh, Bing Crosby, I think, did it during World War II in relation to the troops who were gone and couldn't be home for Christmas. So you took that song, huh, Carly? Oh, yes. And you added something to it, I think. I, yes, I wrote a second verse to it. I never, I, I just, you know, I had to, about the other soldiers, the soldiers of divorce, who, who 
also want to be home for Christmas, yeah. and there's a terrible split that sometimes happens. So. Okay, very interesting. It's that very is sad. Carly Simon, sad. one of the cuts from her new Christmas CD, I'll Be Home for Christmas. <laughs> i 